Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a WordPress tutorial as regards creating footer menus. And many of you have been asking me how to create footer menus and you've asked me how to show you guys how to create custom footer menus. And today I'm just gonna do something around that, okay? Now I'm assuming you already have a WordPress installation and a website and maybe you just wanna modify your footer to look a little bit better and you know interesting okay so now let's get started now let me go to my dashboard right here and the first thing I'm gonna do to build something really unique is to install a couple of plugins so I'm gonna go to a new plugin and the plugins I'm gonna add I'm gonna search for Elementor okay because you're not gonna use widgets to build the footer but you're gonna use Elementor so I'm going to install Elementor right here. Then a couple of plugins. I'm going to install Royal Addons for Elementor. Then I'm going to install Elements Kit. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, once they're all installed, I'm going to go back to the plugin section and uh, install plugins. Then I'm going to select this and this. And this that we've just installed and select activate, then hit apply. Okay. Then all the plugins will be activated. Now, the first thing we need to do to create a footer menu is to go under the elements kit and a head and footer is where we're going to be creating our footer menu. But before we do that, I need to make sure that every plugin is set up correctly. Now, this once I open it up, it's going to ask me to run through some configurations. But what I'm going to do in this case, I'm just going to scroll down and click next and click next and oh, sorry, I'll click next, then next again and next again, next again and save changes. All right, that is great. So we click on real add-ons for the mentor and it's going to ask me to redirected me to the website but I'm just gonna close that then I'll just use this um, link right here where it says you want to step away um, I'll click complete uh, the activation then I'll click skip and they'll bring this uh, demo templates but I'll just leave that up to that then I'll come back under elements kit then go back to header and footer Okay, now make sure I've installed all the plugins that I've told you. Elementor, Royal Addons, and Elements Kit. Sorry. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Add New. Then I'm going to select the title of my footer. Maybe I can name it anything. For example, I can say this is Enox Footer. Then it's going to be a footer. It's going to span the entire site. Not only singular posts or archives, but everywhere on the, on the site. And I'm going to click OK. And what I'm gonna do after I've clicked, I mean I've turned on the activation, I wanna hit edit content, then I start creating my uh, footer menu. And what's gonna happen is that when I hit edit content, it's gonna open up um, Elementor, then we start creating um, the footer. Okay, hope you're following along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to add a section that is facing downwards something like this then I'm gonna add in some text a heading text and I'll say something like um, get exclusive weekly newsletters something like that yeah and I think I'll just center it okay then what I will do I'm gonna change the background of this uh, to something like a dark blue sort of background and I'm gonna select classic and come right here and paste in my color code which should be this yeah it's looking nice then what I'm gonna do while I'm still here I'm gonna come to advance then I need a padding around um, the container so I'm gonna give it an 80 80 uh, padding around so everything is centered you guys saw now everything is centered very well so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna click on this text right here. Go to style and give it uh, white color. Then also the typography. 
can be something like Oswald. Oswald. Yes, so I can adjust the font size to something like this. The transform, I can make it capitalized. Just make everything look cool. Yeah. So then the other thing that I want to do is to add some text. For example, more like a call to action. So I'm going to get a text editor. And right there, I'll just paste in the word that I need. Then make the font white. Then probably, I also like Montserrat as a font. So I think I'll use Montserrat as a the font. Then I think 14 or 16 should do. I think 16 is fine. Then I like to add a letter spacing of something like 1. Then um, also make everything centered. I guess it just looks nice. Yeah. So there is that. Then what else can we add? We're going to be adding. Um, maybe we change this color. I'm going to have to change this color to something more unique. Yeah. So let me go to the text color right here. And I paste in my yeah my purplish kind of shade, which I really like. So I think that's fine. Then now I'm gonna add a subscription box of something like uh, let me search for Mailchimp. Now the reason why we installed Real Addons is because it has a widget that integrates um, these forms directly with Elementor and Mailchimp. Okay, so we drag that and place it in. However, if I do this, then it overspans the radius so I mean so not the radius but the width so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come back here then add a container just under this text then I drag this and throw it in the container then it gets you know display like that so I don't want this email header on and remove that I would go under general and just you know backspace them even the menu right here I'll backspace it then that's how everything is looking still wide so I'm gonna click on this column then I think what I'm gonna do let me use padding and advanced and uh, I'm gonna unlink these so the padding to the right I think I'm gonna make it like 80 pixels then to the left 80 pixels and we see how that looks yeah I think that looks cleaner then what we need to do is with this subscribe button and meanwhile you can link this to your MailChimp yeah so you just need to paste in your uh, MailChimp API key into your uh, add-ons integrations. Then your list will start to display here. Yeah. So it's, like, it's a really simple step process. Okay. So I'm going to come to button right here. Then instead of giving just a normal color, I'm going to give it a gradient. Then I think I'm going to select something like uh, a reddish, will a reddish kind of gradient do? I think let me select something like a purple right here, purplish kind of shade, something like this. Then here I select something orange or something sort of red, yeah, something sort of pink I think this should do. Let me go back to the first color and see what we have. I think this is somehow dark. It's something hotter. I think this will do. Oh, come on. Yes. I think this will do. So what I have to do is maybe change the angle to something like this. Yeah. And probably the font type, typography. I can change this also to Montserrat, Montserrat, yeah, I think that looks fine. Maybe the font can be heavier to something like 600 and 14 pixels. And let's add some spacing, which can be of one, and that looks clean. Okay, now um, what else can we add? I'm gonna add another section right here and it's gonna have um, the same background as this so let me just go back here and copy this color code okay oh no 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 
let's undo that I want to copy this color code and come to this new section go to style under background I will just paste it in right here then the widget that I want to add is called add divider okay so I'm gonna drag that in and the width I can make it close to 90 is it at 90 let's make it to 94 oh we can't see it but let's change its color to something like a lighter shade probably this and when we take this away I think now it's looking way better now let's do the same thing and add another section but this time around it's gonna have four columns okay now with these four columns what we're gonna do is we're gonna first make this background still that dark shade of the ones above so I'm gonna paste it in so Windows V and this should be the shade that should be the shade come on all right let me just paste it in one more time all right now it's working great so now let's add adding let's start adding a few things so I'm gonna add first my site logo um, which I'm gonna upload so I'm gonna click on upload image go to upload files and this is a logo that I'll be using I'm gonna upload that in click select it pops up go under style and I wanna control its width so I think something like this is good then let me left align it yeah then under it I'm gonna throw in a text editor just under it yeah then the text that I'm gonna put there is just going to be some text about um, the company okay so let me just paste this in but I need it to be white so that it's readable or we can select um, the purple shade that we we had earlier on se selected something like this then a typography still can be Montserrat in my previous story I told you guys I told you guys how to use global fonts yeah they can save you a few seconds though we're not using them now but once you're doing something um, um, a very large project then you may need because yeah you never know when you need them for example if you're manipulating global colors they really come in handy okay enough about about that now let's add one more widget it's called social media icons so you're just gonna add it under this text right here and we're gonna go to style instead of doing official color let's make it custom and the primary color can be oh no 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 let's just make it red and turn down the transparency then these can match the logo color so if I'm to look for an orange something that can match the logo color preferably that yeah looks nice and the first section is done all right so now let's move on to the second the other ones then I'm gonna add first the text here then I'm gonna call this maybe this is support support um, column now maybe I'm gonna make this white and the typography right here can be babas no 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 babas is let's use Oswald because it worked in the previous section we can do Oswald and the font weight can be 400 how about the spacing letter spacing we can make it one or two ah, two is okay so I'm gonna copy this and paste it in these columns something like that then I can say something like maybe this column is about my account and this is maybe about us all right so then we can throw in there are some lists and some elements some pages links to pages so probably uh, to do that let's search for a list I think it's the easiest whatever to use so under lists um, you're gonna start editing these but I'm gonna first delete these two yeah then come in here and also delete the icon and come to style and what I'm gonna do is under text I first wanna make the color 
just use the other color this purplish kind of shade then as regards typography I'm gonna go for Mount Syrad and it's gonna be 14 pixels 16 and letter spacing of like 1.2 that looks good then probably we can call this something like uh, if we go back to content and we can call this something like returns yeah maybe that looks good and we can duplicate it um, a number of times so that we don't have to create different um, things and yeah so probably to duplicate it you just have to do this click on this icon right here and it duplicates it so maybe this can be shipping so if you have a shipping page you can just link it down here yeah um, so we can duplicate these maybe to someone click to duplicate it and maybe these are sizes size gates maybe uh, if it's a shop maybe you have a page about talking about payment methods and you could have a shop I mean another page talking about maybe a contact us page yeah so I'll duplicate this and I'll say contact us page so in case you have a contact us page ready you only need to provide the link right here okay now we need to do the same thing for this and this but to do it very fast I'm gonna just copy this and paste it right here and paste this right here so let me fill this in it's gonna take me a few minutes then I'll get back to the tutorial so now everything is done and should be looking nice though what I'm gonna do is uh, there's something I need to tweak in this in the styles so probably I feel like this font is too big so under typography I'm gonna make this 14 then I'm gonna go to list on top then increase the space yeah space is really a good 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 factor when you're dealing with um, website design yeah so now a simple change like this just changes everything okay so under text we can set the hover whenever someone hovers over the text it just stands white as you guys can see so what you're gonna do you're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste the style for these two and everything is starting to look nice though what I would like is I like some margin to the top and to the bottom I think a margin of 30 oh sorry not a margin but a padding of 30 and 30 I think that would be great then what we can do we're gonna add another section right here for the copyright and once you go under style I'm gonna make the background still that same shade um, and pressing Windows V I think our shade should be this all right that is cool then let me just copy this and I'll just paste it in here and I'll just paste that right here so I'm gonna copy in my copyright so I'll just say oh didn't paste okay I'll duplicate it then I'll just drag it in right here then I'll just paste in my copyright and go to style and center the copyright all right so now everything just looks fine one last thing to do uh, probably I'll click on this section go under advanced and towards the bottom I'll change the padding to something like 40 pixels or rather 8 could do okay so now everything just looks clean okay but now this is for the desktop but you may need to optimize it for tablet and I think tablet still looks fine but when you take a look at the mobile the mobile doesn't look that great all right so what do we do I'm gonna go back to this section right here because I gave it padding of 80 80 which I think looks really horrible and what I'm gonna do here I'm still gonna give it a padding but I think it will be like 30 pixels 
I'll link these so everything will be 30 yeah I'll reduce the size of these to something a little more smaller like that this can stay as it is then this let me see this the paddings I gave it okay I'll just unlink the paddings okay then I think that looks fine then once we come here I think I can just center this I can also center these the icons are okay then I can keep on centering these so content center I uh, center this under style under content center this centering is in the style I'll go to this and center it and content I mean style I'll center that so now it looks clean on mobile yeah so this is a mobile view that's how footer will look and this is a disk this is a tablet view which I think also looks fine and this is a desktop view yeah so if you like the guy the tutorial guys um, a subscription to the channel would really 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 be hopeful and I'm looking forward uh, to hearing your comments as regard this video and take care and catch you on the next one